We are live! Hello everybody, welcome back to Saturday Survival. The Nav Night Cam is on thing watching. Yes. Um, now I'm not. Now she's not. Okay, perfect. Welcome back, and we are back again with another fantastic build stream. And uh, sure. we're... But you shouldn't what? Well, it says I'm still on things. Restart NDI! I hate it when this happens. It works every time! Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, technical difficulties, because without them, it would not be a ball and chain gaming stream. Anyway, tonight, we are joined by uh, mostly regulars. Yes, pretty much regulars. We've got Crew. Hello. We've got Drago. We've got Final. We've got Jeray. Hey, everybody. We've got Huaco. Hello there. And Lucian. Good evening, everyone. I'm just going to have Lucian record that and just have a... I've had a Go XLR. I would have that. Ow! It just hit my elbow <laughs> on my desk. <laughs> uh, if you guys didn't know before now, I'm a hand waver. And uh, it's still... Yes, I watching. know. I... The NDI isn't letting me start, so I'll. It's anytime, not. You, well, anytime you just I unclick it, okay, and then start it up. Click it again and hit okay. The main output. Yeah, let me see. See, look, I did it. Unclicked it. They shoot again. No, no, unclick. Hit okay. And then now I have to do it again. This is stupid. It's not stupid. It it's sure science. is. <laughs> it's not science. <laughs> it's still up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Ta-da! Victory is ours. I like how we timed that perfect. Right. <laughs> All right, let me pull up the uh, the stream chat here. Oh, we've got all sorts of people, and I want to say thank you to Scarlet and to Black Phoenix for your pre-stream donations. What? <laughs> uh, we've got, yeah, you guys, are, you guys are awesome. Okay, so we've got... Uh, look at all those green supporter names in chat. You guys are awesome. And just as awesome are all of the gray names who are here to support us every weekend here. Hawk, we've got uh, Black Phoenix, we've got Scarlet, we've got Elmier. Uh, they're all taking bets on who's going to die first. Because why wouldn't they, right? <laughs> I think Scarlet is right. I will die first in a lag-related incident. Lag has yeah. been a little bit more of an issue these last days. Oh, that's unfortunate. Do you have an ISP problems down there in the... Oh my goodness, Scarlet! Okay! <sighs> Thank you very much. You're amazing. It's becoming a drinking game too, says Hawk. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to try and talk a little more quietly because of my microphone. Yeah. Is, I'm, Hi, baby! Yeah. Go to bed, please. You want mommy? Come here really quick. Oh, go say hello and tell everyone you've been a naughty boy and aren't staying in bed. Aww. Okay. Staying in bed. Can With the rest of us, we have a battleship Hi to finish. Everyone. Oh, chunk! Hi, everyone. I need to go yeah. to sleep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he does this every night. He goes, we put him in bed, and then he gets out, and then we put him back, and then he gets out, and then we put him back, and he gets out one more time, and then he stays in bed. And I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Um, for today's it thumbnail... It be a ball and chain stream without a cute kid getting inside your room. <laughs> That's true. Um, so what I did I did do is I uh, I put Nicodudu next to the monstrosity to show off the difference in scale between the not not exactly small Nicodudu and the massive, massive ship that yet, has yet to have a name. Um, I do really want to redo the the front shape and greebling because despite my flipping it very early on its discrept uh its construction people still kept building it in the wrong orientation people in their y wings um so one that's wrong was you ja, ja, ja. hmm who's the host Waco uh, Scarlet mentioned that final is quiet Wait. didn't hear Drago at all and Lucian is a bit quiet too. Okay, I will, hang on, I will tweak a little thing. I, I, had, I had food in my mouth, so... I, I will tweak a thing. Little... Tweak a thing. Alright. And I will, uh... Final, I heard... 
quite well, but I'll boost him as well. There we go. And Lucian will just take them all the way to 200%. <laughs> uh, oh, Chunk. Wow. Getting off to a great start. Well, that's me trying to join in, so... Oh, that might be it. Well, uh, if you could stop trying to join in and just actually join in, I would appreciate it greatly. Oh, crew, are you gonna... That'd be a good idea too. You gonna play with the front end here? Yeah. Okay, carry on, sir. Thank you, Drago, for your donation. Yes, thank you. Okay, little man. Are you going to say, Space Engineers is boring and now it's time to go to bed? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> he likes space engineers. He's he just likes not being in bed. This is he, he's the missed truth. being able to play games with me. I haven't been able to play with my boys for a couple days because we've been busy. Oh, I just you want to play sheepy sheepy? <laughs> We're not playing sheepy sheepy. Sorry. Anybody who wants to watch us play Sheepy Sheepy can go and watch the videos. <laughs> this is true. It is uh, pretty amazing. There we go. And we'll do well. It's time to go. Yeah, and I'm gonna come <laughs> with you. I still haven't even, like, I haven't even gotten out of my bed. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is just being a parent. Say goodnight, everyone. Don't okay, you second. say goodnight, everyone. Here you Aww, go. Oh, thank you, Black Phoenix. He says five for us and five for the boys. Okay. Donates ten dollars. We'll make sure to put that into their account. Aww. Okay. Love ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aww. <laughs> oh, hello. Do you want to say goodnight? Oh my goodness, it's okay. it's a party. It's the invasion. Goodnight, everybody. The invasion is starting, Dean. Yes, well, at least it's the children invasion and not the formic invasion. <laughs> I was thinking more about the zombie invasion, but yeah, sure, that also works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's fun so being a parent. Just a message for everyone out there. Don't look at the phone while doing a space maneuver. You don't want to crash to the station like I did. Did you already die? Yes, I already died because I looked at my phone ah. and I crashed to the station. Alright, who had Waco with accidental death? You've just won the, the non-existent prize pool. I think that was Scarlet. <laughs> I, think, I think it was, yeah. Well, uh, let me see, let me see. Wait, no, ah. Scarlet was for lag, lag, lag relation. Lag relation. Uh, it's close. Is it? Is we call that a partial, partial payout? Uh, let's see. Part of nothing is uh, nothing. Nothing. Carry the nothing. Nothing. Pretty and we're back to fire. Then we're back to firefly quotes. Because why wouldn't we be? It didn't take long. No. Never does. Never does. Oh wait. Uh, sorry, modes here. I'm literally just putting a greeble on here because somebody wanted a hanger here and I don't think it's a good place for a hanger. Also, I am adding to the wonderful complexity of the asymmetry of the ship. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop out chat here and put it up top so I can see it better. And then put this up, and put... Where's the button? This up. There you go. Alright. Uh, Scarlet, that's how you make a, uh, a Formic ship, is welding cancerous growths all over a vehicle. Okay. So how's everybody doing tonight? What? Who's shooting stuff? What was that? That was a something blowing up. That oh, awful lot of things blowing up. It's a uh, great question. Because there's not much space inside this frame, and I'm trying to reach things that need to be welded. Uh oh. Energy Sounds. low. Up oh, there's my energy low warning. First one of the evening. Jumping into the banana. Scarlet, 
thanks. He he says, uh, oh, I know. Just figured I'd save you the time from when they capture this ship. So he's 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 thinking the formics are going to capture this this massive monstrosity we're building. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, Scarlet. Sorry, but you can't capture this. Make sure you put more heads. The maze inside will keep them from actually using this thing. Oh my God. The night <laughs> Okay, that's not working. There we go. Conductors, tail plates, reactor components. <laughs> and Ral says he needs to work on some mandible designs. Remember, Endroth, any uh, any Formic ships you design will have to be submitted through Scarlet because he is the Formic master of all things. He is our op four uh, leader there. Uh, Ouch, what Hulk says really hurts. There we go. So, let's see. So, really Crew's working on the forward end. I'm working on some of the outer armor here. I'm going to rework some of these gun placements because this is... These are silly. <laughs> Who put a giant smiley face on the right side of the ship? That was me. I think that was the last stream, but... I don't know. It's been here a couple streams. I forget who did it. <laughs> that was me. Okay, awesome. We have light and power. Not much power. Uh, There's a single battery powering this whole thing. No, we got a few reactors. There we go. I think Lucian's talking about their uh, their ring ship over there. Oh uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying Lucian made a halo? Crap. I would say nobody saw that, but I think everybody saw that. <laughs> what did you do, the... Nah, I just dropped some parts. Like I do. Inventory full. Your punishment is to go retrieve them. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have anything to retrieve. I didn't- I did nothing. Inventory Tell that to the general. The general what? The general public? Gladly. <laughs> And I'm so used to pressing it to interact with things, I forget it's F. Too much scrub mechanic. Ah, oh, Quaco, that whoever drove by the elusive island in Atlas the other night sounded exactly like you. Oh, really? That that clip I post I posted earlier. Yep. Imposter alert! Imposter Inventory. alert! <sighs> we got a formic on Atlas. I need the banana. <laughs> <laughs> Lucian desperately searching for the banana. Inventory full. I'm slow on energy. I needed that potassium. <laughs> well, since but but uh, bananas are radioactive, shall we fill our reactors with your battery or bananas? God, I can't speak. You you would need too many uh, power. to actually be effective, but yeah, sure. Don't they also release like like again. antiprotons or something? Or is it positrons that they release? Can't remember. I got data with positron. Okay, hey, stip plates and reactor components. That's all we need. Nice. Uh, no more need uh, superconductors. Nope, superconductors are checked off the list. I'll go drop these off and grab. You said steel plates. Steel plates and um, reactor components. Inventory. No, not reactor components. Reactor. Components. Here we go. Let's see. Hello, Kim. Hello, PhD. Hello, Lancer. Hello, Smoke James. <laughs> if cars fall in space and don't make a sound, do they really fall at all? You know, I don't think they did. I think, I think that's a good point. I, I dropped nothing because they made no sound. That's not how that works. 
Uh, are you guys seeing this? We're out of gravel. There's a welder flame just sitting here in space for me. Oh, look. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's probably for me before I crashed. Um, I'll stop crashing. What's going on with your computer, man? I, have to there. I don't know. I'll be honest with you. Oh, I put some native Laptop, yay. Yay. Do we need a large old blocker too? Uh, I'm taking care of that reactor that it's the one that's most incomplete. Gonna need a large oh, steel huaco. What? You heard me. <laughs> no, I missed it. I said we're gonna need a large steel huaco. <laughs> Hey, uh, Floki, I noticed that you are hanging out today in our Saturday Survival <laughs> chat. If you could please move all of your gifts <laughs> to in-game text chat, that would be fantastic. <laughs> well, he, well, it makes sense. Yes, if... I know it makes sense. However, it buries all of the discussion <laughs> of Saturday oh. Survival. Just like Nab Nights. <laughs> Eddie responded already. Banana time! Fine. Yes, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> With another key. So. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna have to switch Discord chats. Uh, I've got too many channels. Always too many channels. Uh, zero percent lash or percentage zero lashes with a wet noodle. I will take zero percentage zero lashes. Gladly. Ah, we need more stone. Delete them all. <laughs> Did Floki actually delete them all? Okay, so I'm just yep. looking at the firing arcs of the ship right now. And there's a lot of left and right firepower, and I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, nothing directly broadside, though. So we may have to add some turrets uh, on some... Uh, some of the horizontal surfaces facing to either side so we can get some broadside action and this is definitely an attack ship judging from the orientation of all its weaponry uh, yep oh man we're gonna need a grade a greeble that are in here to fix this boxy front although we can put some slap some turrets down on this you call <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're currently creating a giant flying greeble. Oh, we got a big chunk. There we go. That's true. Sure was a big chunk. Over 20 meters. I'm gonna fly around your your flying greeble. Oh, I always I always do it wrong. I always think the ring is on so top. There, uh, most of what's on here now can be uh, welded up, I think. On your ship. Uh, yes. I think a lot of people are focusing on the big boy. I can help. It looks like most of it is welded. Um, okay, so wait, we've got sunken turrets on the bottom. Uh, I must be looking at somebody else's. Unless... Yeah, there's a mine. massive ring of stuff that is not welded on mine right now. Well. Actually, these will just peek up. Appreciate that. So those will be good. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like, uh, crew is sticking turrets as, as asked. Um, should we also get- are we- are we just arming this thing solely with lasers? Is that the plan right now? Oh, we don't have railguns. We do. We still have railguns, right. We, we have just rail deleted guns. every single one of them from Nickadoodoo. Because they weren't working properly, and now they are. Apparently. So. Um. To space engineers and modding. Yep. Also, hello Arctic Wolf, we see you. Hello Arctic Wolf. Haunted stream. <laughs> Hang on, guys. You might hear a little bit of mic noise as I tweak something. There we go. Hopefully that gives us a little bit better, uh... Better sound. Can I make sound. a contraption to mine stone from the asteroid? Why don't you just use a miner? Of stone? Why don't you just because grab I... a stupid amount with the miner and it'll suck it all up? Yeah, I mean, those... because we need more than I can get with the miner. With the, the like big, triple, large cargo container miner? Yep. 
I'll go get some more. I would need to like do tons of rants, so yeah. I mean, I'm just I'm just wondering about the feasibility, like, cause that thing's got it's got a bunch of large drills. The size of a piston contraption you would make would take, I think, longer than it would just oh. doing the runs. Ow! I just hit my head. Ow! I mean, um, two or three pistons. I uh, that should be like a lot. Okay. Where was the firing lounge? Because I want to connect the firing lounge to the bridge. The firing lounge is... here. Oh, I see. And it's already connected to the bridge. Looks yeah. like. It's just it's not pressurized. Here. You could make, make the second one. That's alright. Um, maybe... This is also pretty exposed out here. Some armor ribbing there. Um, need some armament on the nose, some turret based armament. Okay. Six heavy laser turret dual. Side. Okay, I gotta work. Oh, rotation on a seat. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Drago. I can't change it from games. Oh, here we go. This would be perfect. So we're also in need of ice, so I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. Sounds good. Do you need any assistance? Oh, I guess that's all on our asteroid, isn't it? Yeah, we're good. Yep. Quick question. Do we need, like, 12,000 explosives? Uh, yes. Maybe. Probably. Why? Most definitely, yes. Why, uh... Am I, I think... asking? Simple, simple answer. Four mix. I mean, that's... Enough. Probably from that uh, McGill guy, I would guess. Yeah, I, I was just looking for my world and I just. That'll saw happen. The coast. Some lots of boom packets. Gonna need a lot of. Uh, of power. We're probably gonna need to make like five or six uranium runs and then have that refining for like an entire episode in order to have enough power to fuel this thing. Same thing with ice. Yeah. One episode for mining, one episode for refining. The miner refiner. Minor diner. Minor 49. <laughs> <laughs> um, Look, I enjoy my Scooby Doo references as much as the next one. <laughs> there we go. There's some good asymmetry. Yeah. Ooh. Star Citizen is going to be out before this ship is finished. I think we'll surprise you, Enderoth. I'm pretty sure the sun will go uh, Nova before Star Citizen is finished. Ooh, ouch. Which is saying something, as our sun is too small to go Nova. I think it just goes, I think it'll just collapse into a brown dwarf, right? Uh, it'll go red giant, and then I think brown dwarf, yeah. Star. I don't think it's massive enough to go neutron. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna end up as a brown dwarf. And then it'll just die. Pit a pitiful death. It's okay, because the human race won't exist then anyway. 
maybe the human race will still exist, but as a different race. We will have evolved beyond our wildest dreams. Well, no, I have some pretty wild dreams. I was. Or, or maybe we got Terminators in our world and we're like all dead. But, eh, doesn't matter. Do we have some piping? We do have some piping up here. Um, but I can't put anything right there because... Yeah. Hmm. Do I add some uh, fixed uh, DACA to the front as well? Some actual, like, projectile weapons? Oh, you're talking about piping made me remember. I need to pipe the drill thing. Um, Why and, didn't I thought of that? and Black Phoenix was asking if it would be a good idea to pipe the guns first. Uh, well, none of the guns here have the need for piping. Because they're all laser weapons, but I was gonna add some, uh, ammo feed weapons. Real quick, although I did notice that we've got some missing connections. Oops. But we've got this pipe here. Runs all the way forward. And I could go down here. Energy low. Right. Here. Here. Connections there. Yes. All right. We're going to get some forward firepower that we can intensify. That's important. Oh. There we go. Um, it's okay, Black Phoenix. It's a good uh, thing. Well, I mean, death thing is kind of like a banana. Although, man, building some death bananas would be kind of funny. Hey, Rocco, can oh, you move yeah, that uh, that small welder? What? The small welder near the docking port I'm near. Small welder here. Gotcha. From there. There you go. Okay. Let's do some max packs here. Alright, okay. not listed there. Just go to block weapons. Thank you for the donation, Hammerby. Uh, is there any similarity between SC and your job? Uh, I mean, there are long stretches of tedious building. I mean, that's similarity, right? Yeah, sure. It's, it's a lot like we'll, my previous job. We'll make it count. Donation detected. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a lot like the military. Getting joked around. Long tease weights. That's too it's big. Small. Small bits of, oh no, oh no, okay. and witch pants. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> oh, energy critical. Surprise, surprise. Uh, it's cold out here. In space. Death, uh, if you go back far enough in our channel, you will find a community battle against the Andromand Gaming community, wherein we had a ship named the Potassium Supplement that fired TV-guided missiles called Death Bananas. Uh, actually, we have two of the three, well, three of the crew members that were in that fight here in the chat with us. I think we're only missing tarmac. Um, but yeah, Jure and crew were wailing away for those death bananas. That was a fun fight. That was really fun. It, it was fun, although there wasn't really much to be fought back. <laughs> they were great sports. Yes. Yeah. It was a show. A great crew can tip the balance in one side's favor. He's like, that's me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Whoa. That's me. Whoa. What? Massive lag. Major rubber banding. Yep. I might be adding some Mark 1 batteries. Oh. Like, I didn't have anything. Them. So. 
Alright, just deliver the first one of the ice and stones. Rock and stone! <laughs> oh, the same thing. <laughs> Dre is a dwarf and he digs in a rock. Diggy, diggy, rock. Diggy, diggy, rock. Oh my goodness, Scarlet, thank you very much. He's donates $20 and says, I'm going to bed. Good luck to everybody Donation with the Greebles. Actually, you, he actually he says, I'm going to bed. Good luck to very body with the Greebles. I'm <laughs> going to bed or to the couch? Hmm. hmm, that's a good question, sir. How would you say that? I'm going to couch, everybody. I will yeah. couch you later. Ah, couch you later. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a we've got a secondary weapon system inside the big shooty mouth hole. That's the uh, technical term oh. for the big shooty mouth hole. Shooty mouth hole. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna catch before yeah. streams. I'm supposed to be hosting. Oh man, <laughs> Floki puts a couch in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I need a bunch of these, get all those pipes welded up. Uh-oh, I hear somebody at the I door. I better not hear anybody. That means no pie tomorrow. <gasps> I hope if there's anybody next to my door that they go back to bed so that everybody gets pie tomorrow. Should I turn around and see if there's someone there? You should probably turn around and see if there's somebody there. If I turn around and see a little boy, we don't get pie tomorrow. Not very smart, are you? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Just staring at me. He doesn't want pie. <sighs> Apparently. Me. Wants to ruin it for everybody else. I go down, I will take others with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get pie, no one gets pie. Yeah, Kim, you're right. It didn't work last time with ice cream either. But pie is a bigger treat. <laughs> the other boys were like, <gasps> they stayed in bed. But cause I don't make pie very often. Yay. Hope you guys like looking at that conveyor port. Crew, if you look in the uh, the front now, I think you'll approve this particular weapon system. Yes. <laughs> the green spread. Where is it? Oh. Ah, uh, I see. I think it will be a uh, a nice close-in weapon system there. So if a welder is connected to the station, is there a way to take out what I want so that I can weld, or do I have to manually put it into the, the welder? I think you have to manually put it in. That's so dumb. I'm sorry, That's what do you mean so by stupid. manually put it in the welder? I have, I have to take it out and load it up one inventory full at a time from my person. Can't on a dock ship? Well, you can... You can are you talking about... For a while in the ship. Are you... Are you talking about a welder ship? Or yes, are you talking... A okay. Ship. So dock I'm the welder the ship, ship and, and I've drag... I've got inventory up, but it's connected to every single flippin' ship. And so I've got drill, drill three, minor cargo, hydrogen search. tank of various Search things. cargo container. Wait, minor no, cargo, minor large... There's... There's an easy way if you want to check just one grid. Okay. When when you go to the inventory section, there's an option that says show only inventory. I see you hammer B just a second. Where? It the middle icon on the Aha. Thank oh, you. Yeah. You're welcome. So but now I can't 
pull anything from if are that's you, what are you trying to fill i mean you what are you have two sides of the inventory you can have one to only cargo and the other one to the rest to, to the other ship mm -hmm. to Good. any other ship yeah thank Just you click the button that says show connected inventories ridiculous thank you mm, not ridiculous You're very useful like, what do you want it to do? Like, read your mind and then magically put everything in the cargo container? No, for you? I just want it to be yeah, intuitive. I want it to be intuitive. If it, like. You can't make a game like this intuitive, not something with this level of complexity. No, even just no, being no, able to. Oh really my fun. gosh, it takes it back in! I hate my life. Who turned on Tim? <laughs> or it's conveyor sorters. Oh, you're docked to a conveyor sorter port. Stupid. Docked to a different port. stupid of on this game pressing p and getting like everything disconnected on your station instead of just landing gear alone um what did you do no i did i did i never pressed <laughs> p but, like, it's like the worst thing to do on this game like you have your aircraft carrier and suddenly all your planes are gone yep well, it's because small grids are trash. You just gotta throw them away um, and put more guns in your large grid. Large one. <laughs> What's the... Me and it are all crying in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Drago? Does anybody, know where the... Does anybody know where the tug is so I can start welding my ship? The tug... is docked to the station somewhere. And also, is this green too green for nab? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, by me? Here's the tug. It's docked on the sprues. Okay. The Drago board is right there. Oh, somebody painted okay. it green. So if you don't push P, which is the the button that I, I was did. taught, well, I'm just I'm asking a question. If you don't press P, which is the button I was taught to press when you disconnect, what do you press? You can press P as long as you are the small grid ship attached to a large grid. If you were the large grid and you were trying to dock to switch a landing gear while you're landing on an asteroid or a platform, and you have smaller grids attached to you via connectors, it will disconnect all connectors while attaching the landing gear because it's a simple toggle with the same key bind. So what you do is you drag the connector or the landing gear to your hotbar using your G menu and use the switch lock function. Because but if you are in a welder that is not connected to anything but the station, just use P. You'll be fine. Right. See, so I got in trouble when we were playing uh, the new thing, the new scenario, because I pushed P to park. And apparently that was the wrong thing to do. Yes, it was. <laughs> but I had, I had no idea. Nobody had ever told me differently. Well, it's because I'm a terrible person. You're a horrible human. Big chunk. Anyway, uh, Hammerbee, to answer your question, and thank you for the uh, donation, sir. Uh, you said, I need a second layer of Mark One. Unfortunately, I can't. I cannot connect it, because that is part of this. I've only got a single layer around it. Otherwise, I would have put a, a bigger battery on there. But this will have more alpha anyway, so. Energy low. Oh, no. Enderoth did notice that the f our uh, super laser does look quite vulnerable, but I'm honestly, this thing's all light armor anyway, for the most part. So we're going to be relying on our shields and our, um, half a dozen reactors here. And like yeah. 12,000 guns. I'm just wondering, is yeah. that going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? To I don't do know. Like that. We need to like fire all weapons at the same time, like just place it to the extreme That's while having idea. the shield on. Just that extreme moment. If we yeah. ever reach that moment, we need to be sure the shield survives. Ender's, Enderoth is picking out uh, weak points as he watches. 
Not very Precious sporting job. of him. Not very sporting of him. Pull a bunch of Mark 1 batteries out. <laughs> Literally giving advice, yeah. Energy critical. Energy critical. Every time. I wish my energy would stop being so critical. I really can't take this this uh criticism much longer. Well I'm not touching sorry, that one. not sorry. Wako, why did you say sorry, and why is the ship on fire? What do you mean ship on fire? Your ship is on fire. Where? Uh... Hang on, I just figure out where you were. I'm like, on a welder, welding... Yeah, pipes. Where did you go? There, oh, yeah, up here. I'm outside. Up forward. Ouch, ouch, I forgot the... Yep, yep. Well, there's on fire. Your ship is on fire. See? Told you. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna get the... Well, I didn't see the particles. That's nice. Uh, Something's funky it here. Part of what's if I'm way too laggy. Yep. And here's sometimes it appears. Build armor, shield, ship speed, remote control, barriers. This is sounding more and more complicated by the second. <laughs> so, uh... But we like complicated, right? Yeah, but if you start running a whole bunch of scripts on a world that we know is going to hang every, you know, two, three minutes, especially in combat... Powerpoint. Powerpoint. Okay, I don't want this. I'm going to put the water out. I'm going to add all of those blocks. All except one. Okay, that's <laughs> right. Stop. It's time to just build. Uh, I feel the love, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Saying apparently, uh, whoa, it's a it's a drinking game now to whoever dies or. Gets injured. I'll drink to that. <laughs> what are we drinking? I have no idea. Tonight's liver failure brought to you by Boom Boo Rum, he says. I'm drinking water. I should probably I do sake. that. Heard a door. Um, yeah, he's been standing in the doorway for a little bit. Oh. Uh. Whoa, why is it, like, extra chunky? Is anybody placing blocks directly adjacent to the super laser right now? Nope. Nope. I'm working on the outer hole. Yeah, that was weird. I tried to link up with my, uh, ship. Link up? You trying to turn into Voltron or something? <laughs> You're all at one. No, I'm trying to get the... I'll be right back, guys. I'm switching to the nab camp. So I can get even when I well, try to weld the rest of it up. Uh, yeah, bad idea to do that. Uh, let's try it this way around. Uh, DE will answer you when he is back, crew. Whoa! Whoa, what was that? I think I'm, my I welder just blew something up, which is bizarre, because I didn't feel like I was actually hitting anything. What on earth? Yeah, it was a yeah. It was just a uh, heck. Dear welder, are you okay? Yeah, it looks fine. Whoa. There we go. Looks back. That's weird. Thank you. All right. Yeah. That's taken care of now. 
You'll never catch them. Uh, Hammerby, what kind of pie am I making? Well, none now, so. Oh. Yeah. I have to. You have to follow through. If you don't follow through, then they won't actually pay attention to anything that you say. Yep. It's true. So, I won't be making any pie. If they are good tomorrow, then the next day I will be making a cherry pie. A tart cherry pie with almond. Yep. It's Dee's favorite. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mm. I made strawberry pie. Strawberry rhubarb pie or just strawberry pie? <laughs> It's a strawberry, I'm afraid, but the homegrown strawberry, so... Ooh. Elmir says, time for a secret pie. Chan chan chan. Spy pie. Spy pie. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Didn't stay in bed. Now you don't get any pie. <laughs> <laughs> Nabreen makes some really good pies, I tell you what. Yeah. I've got made my grandma's strawberry pie, so this should be good. Excellent. Where we live, our strawberries are still barely starting to bud. So. Yay, too far north. I the same piece yeah. here. Uh, yeah, two. But... Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, crew, can't you just fold those in to like this bit here that sticks out wildly? And if we go over here, I believe there's another bit on the other side that sticks out. No, there isn't. I mean, there's there's lots of mounting points right now. I'm just concerned oh, about um, something over here. I mean, what's this big empty space for? I was supposed to be hanging right here. Clear the way, coming through with a big heavy block. You could put some uh, internal thrusters right here. Above that. Yeah, but internal thrusters are pretty boring. Well, somebody already put some in. Okay, good thing I decided not to place the pipes on the middle of the... Like right here? The... Crew, did you just say internal thrusters are boring? That's exactly uh, what he said. Crew be like, maybe? Remember this? He did. He was the one who created the thrust pack, which was an internal thrust pack for mm -hmm. the supplement, so. Mm hmm. Chan chan chan. Cloud twist. Go silent with guilt. <laughs> I'm a changed person, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Sungayan is getting. Ha ha ha, Hawk, very funny. Okay, so whoever's here, Drago, do you need the Wilder World? Not yet, World? not yet. Not yet, copy that. I'm, I'm trying not to smack anything because there seems to be a drill coming out underneath me. Oh. So, so I, I'm waiting for him to get out of the way so I can lower down more than adjust my blueprint. So. Okay, good sir. Um, yeah, Scorpion Core, it's, it's not... It's just because, yeah. Um, it's just because of where we live. I know that a greenhouse environment will make them grow a little bit faster, but not much. It's just where we live. It's, where it's the sunlight, no, basically. Yeah. They're like these little baby ones, but they're so good. It's like his first harvest, too, so it's like, yes! <laughs> Yeah. Strawberry season here isn't until Energy June. Low. I want strawberries. Uh, crew, 
If you want to build uh, this, holy crap! When you said nacelle, that's huge. Uh, can you do a single? Can you can you do a single ventral nacelle? And have that? Yeah, have that bay open backwards. Hmm. Instead of down, because we can't because we can't close this, but we could close this. So you have a yeah, ventral could, nacelle yeah. right, like straight yeah. down, down here. Because this ship doesn't look like a gun yet, and I have to change that. Yeah, I can do something similar to that. I think that'll work. Make sure you mix a good amount of ions in there, because we've already got lots of hydro thrust. But if this thing ever runs out of hydrogen, we're, we're dead. <laughs> Energy low alert. Double shot. Oh, boy. Everyone's going to be... Yep. I'm going to kill people if that's the if that's the drinking game, guys. I really need to make that emote. <laughs> uh, speaking... It's not a new game, actually. I'm sorry. What was that, Lucian? Uh, speaking of interesting things, has... Is anyone... Uh, I'm. This is sarcastic, by the way. Is anyone <laughs> excited about the new Space Engineers Tron DLC? <laughs> I mean, just, it looks pretty, I guess. I'm just like, I, I, I look at it and I go, so are we going digital now? Hashtag innovation, Lucian. Hashtag innovation. Oh, God, <laughs> no. It's so bad. It's just hashtag innovation and I'm just like, yes, but are you actually innovating? Are you doing anything new? They're not Took innovating. That's that's true. They're not innovating anything in Space Engineers right now, but they are innovating their chatbot. So. <gasps> the chatbot. That's what good AI actually is, right? It's like a chatbot. It's yeah. supposed to be like oh. a customer service thing, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. You've got mail. A customer service representative could not be reached because we didn't hire any. Please enjoy our chatbot services. Provided by Keen Software House. Caution. No. If the chatbot freezes randomly, please try resetting your phone. Fox says, uh, DE, don't go computer. on a murder rampage. I'm not that well stocked. End of stream tech should be interesting at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good night, Bonshin Gaming. Just <laughs> you and my good night. <laughs> what she said. At a very slow speed of 3.3 meters a second, the drills are approaching the ground. Okay. <laughs> I love the Huaco updates. Mm -hmm. This is painfully slow to watch, but it's needed to ensure no clang happens, because I'm no crew. Did you build something, Waco? Yes. I built something. Oh, thing. oh boy. <laughs> no, not not another not another one of those flashbacks. Oh that's an, that makes the profile interesting there. Hmm. There we go. I'm actually liking that. Yeah, you guys exactly. see what crew's got going on the bottom there? I think what we are gonna need to do. Uh, we may have to lengthen the rear end of the ship a little bit, like the center section, somehow, for some reason. Maybe just a refueling dock or something, I don't know, but it, it looks a little stubby. I'm assuming you're going to bring the nacelle back a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think to right over here, I think. I think I've got all the top ones, though. Um. 
Holy Weld. That ship is so big it'll take a whole pandemic to build. <laughs> uh, maybe. It's uh, it's always possible. Once if the uh, United States actually picks up the game. What game are we picking up? Pandemic game? Uh, game of What's it called? Play game game. Play game game. Yes. Punk. Mm -hmm. Punk. Although that doesn't really work because Plague Inc. Uh, Plague Inc.'s objective is to infect all people. Are they adding like a mode where you gotta fight an infection? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah that's... It's a versus mode. Yep. No, versus mode is a uh, pandemic versus another pandemic. Well, which pandemic can well, no. infect more people? Yeah. Well, that sounds like yeah. a nightmare scenario, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Sounds like a fun game. You got two people fighting each other. Kill some people! Yay! <laughs> Demonet. <laughs> Welcome to Black Ink. Solar reactor uh -huh. has 750 uranium ingots. I don't think it needs all those. <laughs> you keep on taking those ingots. I do not think you need them like you think you need them. I do not think you understand. Ah, oh. I love that line too. <laughs> you keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Yes. It always turns into movie quotes, doesn't it? Farscape, ooh, Farscape command carrier half circles to this pea shooter. Hmm. I mean, we're not quite at the grebling phase yet. <laughs> we're right now very much build the structure, build the parts. Um, we've got a lot of reactors that still need to get welded. Lots of stuff that needs to get done energy in here. Low. Oh, there's energy low. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> Gonna cost you some money tonight. No, D is trying to be smart. Run. No, 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 no. It's it's a bet with each other. That's what that was. It has yeah. nothing to do with us. <laughs> Ouch, says Hawk. <laughs> I mean, honestly, guys, how many of you actually recharge your energy in the game before it tells you to recharge the energy in the game? I do. And I I do. Right Sometimes. now. Every time I get a cockpit. I haven't been in the cockpit. I've been manually welding everything because there's so much stuff on the front here that's going to be hard to weld. Um, I... I usually do a run to the naked doo, doo and just fill up on everything at the med station. Like, every time I have to go and fill up again. Inefficient. Yeah, well, you're gonna kill people, so. <laughs> Probably. I I am not telling them to do it. Okay, that's somebody else's choice. What is this huge chunky chunk here? Random right. interior walls. Okay. Uh, there should be a chunk now, because I just put my brick in. Oh, this is so ridiculously inefficient. What is? A little drill boring thingy. <laughs> uh, I don't think your brick is lined up correctly. It is not, I just noticed that. I need to go up by one, I think. I think one of these welders on the welder ship that I'm using just isn't working, even though it's 
welded up. I'm guessing something isn't piped correctly. Somehow. Yeah, there might be a broken pipe somewhere. Signal about what? It work. Yeah, it's not though. The whole time I've been using it, it hasn't been giving me any animation at all. And doesn't seem to be welding anything when I'm near. Is it on? Uh. No, it's off, but I'm trying to see why it's off. There. Let's see. No, it's still not. Oh, there it is. But now no, it's, it's no, it's still lost for some reason. Bizarre. Hmm. How's that look, D? Okay. Come on. Come That's nice. I like that. Oh no. Nothing. Also, should we extend the hangar bay or keep this as like a open platform? You're empty, yeah, that's why. Ah, uh, now I'm empty. Gotcha. Can leave Thank that as you. an open platform, I think. Let's put the doors behind it here. <laughs> I think, actually, hang on. Ride your ray is not on the menu. <laughs> I should hope not. Yes. 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 Well, we're not we're not four mates. Four mates <laughs> that. There was there was D's response, which was I should hope not, which is a standard measured response, very calm. And then there was my response. Yet. <laughs> Sounds. <laughs> Jeray is no one's steed. One's dinner or lunch. <laughs> Which is pretty funny, considering he's usually playing the Formic. I told you, that's my clone. I'm usually here. Mm -hmm. Gosh, stop ruining it, D. Sorry, I'm ruining everything. People's I'm immersion is being broken. My immersion! Uh, um... You breaking walls that shouldn't be broken. What is this, D? If I fits, I ships. I fits. I do fits. I do fits in there. Hang on. Is that the motto of a cat? If it fits, it ships. I fits if I do this. Thinking of hiding a squid in there? Yes. A squid? Why would he hide a squid in there? Why wouldn't I? The squid makes a very, very effective escape ship. Acceptable. Only cowards try to escape. Cowards live to fight another run. day. This coward's gonna live! <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? Hammerby, while I remind my husband of things, I generally <sighs> don't do it as a robot. So I don't know about that. <laughs> Aww. Turret's too big. Wait. Have plan. <laughs> By the way, it's good to see chat so active today. Yes. What is happening? Wow, big chunks. Oh, it's the welders, isn't it? We got the welders on? Yeah, possibly. Yep, we got the, the welder world on. How much is left on that ship? Drago? What's up? 
How much is left on that ship? Just loading the last the button right now. Okay. Today we're gonna make it difficult to play at all. I mean, have you played Space Engineers before? <laughs> Don't see <sing> fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Just so it chatty. Me so much. <laughs> there are a whole lot of things I'd like to sing right now. But I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, it's it's more a case of, but I don't want to incur YouTube's copyrights. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I could sing well enough to incur YouTube's copyrights, that'd be pretty excellent. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly it's the it's the patterns, Ooh, um, chunkety, and not just vocals. It's chunkity, chunkity, it's chunk. music as well. They they're mostly looking for the music. They well, they explore the uh, explore. They look for the right, right. actual like sound, the yes. way the sound file looks. Anti-fighter laser turrets. Everybody gonna be shooting pink stuff everywhere. Didn't even get there. Hold on. And after all, <laughs> you're my <laughs> welder wall. There we go. I'm done. Yes. Totally. Yes. Yes, 100%. Yes. <laughs> We have, we are all the way down. Time to go up and stop the drill. J drill off. Honestly, these might uh, increase the. Stop thinking loud. Stop thinking loud. <laughs> yes. Waco, stop thinking loud. We can hear your thinks. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. We all it's know what like you're I thinking. Uh, Actually, so I know bad. you guys don't need any other reasons to think I'm creepy, but that was a thing I would do a lot with my roommate. She'd be like thinking of something random and I'd either talk about it suddenly or start singing a song that she was singing in her head at the exact time that she was thinking about that phrase and sometimes it was like in the middle of the song and it freaked her out and I still have no explanation. And I would do that yeah. to me. Oh, that's simple. I think somewhere <laughs> happens to me. Yeah. But, and I wouldn't, I would do the same thing to Dee. So it's possible for people to think loudly and have other people hear. <laughs> I think I think very loudly. I think so. Think, 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 think. You should save me at the exams. <laughs> That's when I think that would be. Broadcast the answers to everybody. <laughs> the teachers like Paco, no. stop giving out the answers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not giving the answers. I'm just giving all the formulas to get to the answer. Elmir says you're a witch, Nab. But it's like, I'm not using She's a witch. She's I a have witch. heard like, that before. Also, that is like really common, Nab. Like, think on something that's on someone's mind mm -hmm. it's like come on and just so you know everything is connected chan 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 everything is a series of tubes <laughs> you're a series of tubes plug tron update it reminds me of a meme i saw and i'm not gonna say it because it wasn't very nice did somebody turn no. on wait a second it just took my stuff back again. And I'm not... Uh... Oh, that, that, that's, my, that's my fault. What'd you do? I I had to turn it on real quick so I could find the pieces. I'll turn it off again. I'm doing so. I'm doing so. How does turning on help you find pieces that you can search for and it'll only show I, you the things that hold it? I don't, I don't know, but... It, it finds them somewhere, and, it come, and it's not being produced, but it's just, ah. That was a I, good I sentence. <laughs> that was ah, a great sentence. Great sentence. <laughs> <laughs> <Of course. laughs> 
I fits, it's I ships. <laughs> ah. e, you have no room to <laughs> talk <laughs> about good sentences. I was just pointing out that it was a great sentence. <laughs> Drago has all the words. He has the best words. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, you would think I would, because I've got an English degree. Well, now I've got an English degree. Whee! But no. Uh, oh, no. Hmm? What's oh, no? You just, you just made me remember I need to take the... Um, CAE exam this year, and it's like with the whole pandemic going on. Oh, that's going to be fun. Sarcastic mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to take quizzes almost every weekday. Okay, here oh, we go. Multiple quizzes. Gross. Don't make me suffer. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, I do. Oh, the public school system. Trying to make people do the public school system at home is not healthy. Doesn't work. You're not healthy. I'm actually using a... Since I was, like, in a cyber, uh, cyber part of school, I was able to keep that part, and things are a lot easier because now instead of like actually talking directly to the cheaters which i actually still do but only like once a week i can just keep working through stuff really easily mm -hmm. but so the amount of work necessary to you know it it's just it gets actually not that triples i guess it depends on the family dynamic and the person but yeah, I'd look for the Russian family. <laughs> Thank you, Hammerby. Uh, he says, Nabdi was just recognizing the oratory skills of another wordsmith. <laughs> That's way better sounding than D.E. can't talk either. <laughs> <laughs> I, I prefer words are hard, but okay. Especially with my brain damage, so yeah. Words are hard sometimes. Mm hmm. I don't even have that excuse. And thank you again, Harabi, for the donation. Just pop up some more stone and some more ice. Rock and ice. <laughs> We built. built a really big ship. <laughs> you just realized? No, look, come look where I, what I've done. I have put the uh, the wants to cuddle inside our massive monstrosity. Oh my god, I'm watching it. <laughs> oh, yep, yep, it's big. So the wants to cuddle is finally getting its dream come true. Yes, it's it's getting its cuddle. A good old snuggle in there. Okay, um, I'm done with stream making fun of me. I will go get one of the many welder ships, load it up with all the steel plates. <laughs> Tip only for here. Steel. Right. Yes, Perfect. Ox says, my liver thanks you, D. Now you get to be in a cockpit. <laughs> I don't have to worry about you anymore. Oh, you should still worry about me. <laughs> I never stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a slow ship. Very little maneuvering capability. Wilder ships are usually very slow when. Bowl. Not mine. This one is zippy. Zippity doo I scared. I scared Dre when I <laughs> when I left. <laughs> you scared me. You welded me. You turned your welders right <laughs> into me. <laughs> How dare you! I weld you up so you can go mine components or something. I don't know. That's not the right word, <laughs> but the sentiment <laughs> remains.
We always worry about DE hick hick, can we say? <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate you too. <laughs> Is there a group for welders in this thing? Not. Think. Think donk. What the? What? Snow sucking in my head. <laughs> Whatever. Why did you do this to me, Nabiring? Nabiring? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Poor unfortunate <laughs> mistake. <laughs> I don't know how to say words. Uh, that's okay. Okay, have you have you met me? I also don't know how to say words. <laughs> worse than not being able to say words. I am honestly tempted to do a uh, sort of a, a male rendition of Ursula's Poor Unfortunate Soul. I because... love Poor Unfortunate Souls. The only good part about that whole movie. Eh, a lot of people would argue with you on that, but I tend to agree. I would agree as well. My my boys saw oh, Little Mermaid oh, <laughs> on their streaming so service. It's true. Uh, they saw it there and were like, so they love things about the sea they love the ocean and so i'm looking for a new movie for them to watch and they're like oh, that one we want to watch that one and it was the little mermaid which i hate um i was honestly surprised you were playing it for them. well i mean they want it's under the under the sea <laughs> so um i Don't started it and they're all. like well there's a ship <gasps> there's a ship on the ocean <laughs> And they're singing. This is the greatest thing. And then the the credits start, and they're under. It's under the water, and there's all this beautiful stuff. Wow, blue whales. Wow, jellyfish. Like they're so excited. And then there are mermaids, and they're like, look at all the mermaids. That's amazing. And I'm talking to my elder sister, who um, that was like her favorite movie when she was five, and now she agrees with me that it's like the worst because there's this 16 year old going I'm not a child anymore daddy it's fine and I know more than you and and I'm gonna marry him I love him I've seen him once in my life like it's just I mean it's almost the plot of Harry Potter <laughs> where where <laughs> adults are stupid and don't know anything and children children know best mm -hmm. yeah um but it just yeah, there are lots of problems with that movie, but they so far they are loving it, and I and I'm not too worried about subliminal messaging with that one because the they're only gonna watch it probably this once. <laughs> <laughs> and Endral says, but Prince Eric was smoking hot. <laughs> Prince Eric is not smoking hot, not to this lady. I don't. Well, I, I never hope thought. not. Well, he's animated one, animated two, two dimensional cartoons. Yeah. Not possible to be attractive. Two, I just, I, in before I never chat. thought that he was drawn in an attractive way. Anyway, two, I guess suppose, uh, supposedly that was attractive in the '90s, but it's a very '90s look. It is a very '90s look. Mm, maybe a king. <laughs> I'm telling you, she's real. I'm gonna find her and I'm gonna marry her. Okay. All right. Okay, there, bud. Slow down there, buddy. <laughs> sha -la 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 -la, my oh my. The song's gonna make you cry. It's got very uncomfortable words. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> There's only one way to ask her if she likes you. Just go ahead and kiss her. You don't need to say a word. Just, just kiss her. It's fine. It'll be fine. Like, she couldn't write. Like, <laughs> she and she gives her signature. Like, it's obvious that she can write, but you know. 
the plot has to happen. Maybe, oh, maybe we're saying Prince Eric couldn't read. <laughs> hey, back in that day, wasn't that big of a deal. Well, monarchs read. Yeah. Uh, 50 50 chance on that. Ah. Uh, I'm talking early, not, not later. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> Yeah, and Roth, that's true. Yeah, the Little Mermaid, the Little Mermaid, the actual tale, is a much better story because she actually uh, has some moral compass and deals with the consequences of her actions and doesn't get what she wants and she's stupid. <laughs> yeah, and she and she dies, as yeah, Hammerby just said. She, yeah. Thank you, Hammerby. I appreciate the donation. Was that what me exploded? Again? Was that me again? That I know. No, that was me. Okay. All right, gentlemen, you know what to do. Shoot him! What happened? Uh, thruster hit the heavy armor. Mermaids don't have souls. True, they don't have souls. That's why they're trying to steal the souls of men, right? That's the whole siren thing. I don't know about the souls. They just want to kill them. Donation detected. Um, I do know that. So it's not just that she dies; she turns to sea foam. Like, it's, yeah. And her sisters, like her sisters in the actual story, are like, "It's fine. No, just do this. Get out of it this way, so that you don't have to go through the, with the consequences that you've re you've reaped." And she's like, "Nope." I, I have to do this. I made a promise and I'm going to keep it. And she dies. But no. Miss mm -hmm. Miss Disney Ariel is like, I get what I want in the end, even though I risked everything and I'm stupid. And yep. My, my dad loves me. And yes, he went about uh, some parenting things the wrong way. <laughs> um, don't go destroying your child's room when they don't do what you want. But, you know, mm. trying to protect her, but it's okay, because I'll get what I want in the end if I follow my heart. And this is true love. I followed my heart! <laughs> yeah, sorry to break it to you, but that's not how the world works. Oh, sorry, well. goodbye. Well, there are also no such thing as mermaids, so that's not how the world works either. You're a mermaid. Your face is a mermaid. Sometimes. <laughs> it does occasionally go under the sea. <laughs> I'm not going to finish the jokes that popped into my mind. <laughs> okay. Nope. Goodbye. This and that. We're just gonna stop there. Oh, bed knobs and broomsticks. I should show I them that. I love bed knobs and broomsticks. <laughs> what? The, I love what? It. <laughs> Take myself off. Singing song on Sing. the bottom of the beautiful brine. <laughs> yes, it's got some great music. That one does. What a charm <laughs> to get the best of people out of the plants and creatures of the deep. We lie. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the nice the baritone outside, there. Running out, running <laughs> out of enmity. <laughs> that was nice. You want to make a gun emplacement? You gotta stagger them and just put them right next to each other. Do 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 do. It's right in here. How do you like this laser broadside? Uh, I will see in a moment. I'm welding up. Somebody slapped a random turret up top that was not going to work very well. So I'm building a mount for it that'll allow it to shoot over the other turrets a little bit better. Uh. Then I will come look now, this and... Be... Go ahead. This may be a source of contention, Nadarine. Yes. But what do you think of Mary Poppins? The original. 
Uh, so I'm not British. Uh, so, so we like it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I didn't, I did not grow up with the books. I, it's a, so I didn't know any better. I grew up with the movie, not the books. So, uh, the, but I, I, I enjoyed it. Well. Okay. And even though I am British, I still enjoy Wait. it. And all I right. much prefer it to the books. Oh, so. interesting. Got all these backwards. It, it is a weird one. Isn't it? I do know that I, a lot of my British friends are like, no. Mary Poppins no, was no, one no. way and, uh, and Disney ruined it. To be fair, the way that Disney handled that was not the best way to handle that. Yeah, they hired uh, Dick Van Dyke. Well, so, no, I'm talking about how they treated the author, but... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty standard Dick Van Dyke early was... studio. Nobody I, told I the poor imagine. man <laughs> that he could not I... speak with an accent. It saves life. Personally, as, as much as people may say things about Dick Van Dyke and the way his accent was in the original movie. I personally couldn't think of a better person to take on the role. Right, to play Bert. No, he did well. It was just the the accent was, the accent was so was brutal. It was, bad. it was atrocious, but for the time I would argue that it was sort of expected out of Hollywood. Probably. Yeah. That's uh, that's a fair point. Hollywood. No, nobody over there had ever like even talked to a British person before. They're like, yeah, it sounds vaguely British. That's, that's good. Fine. <laughs> we'll roll with that. <laughs> Top of the morning to ya. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's awful. It's so bad. A jolly all the day. It's a jolly all the day with Mary. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, oh, man. Uh, Nathan, that's I mean that's true. Regardless, if they had a accent coach for him, he definitely messed it up. Yeah, that uh, that's surprising. I didn't hear anything about an accent coach. Well, Walt Disney was too busy. But got him from like a warm part of town. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> does anyone in the UK sound like Dick Van Dyke and Mary Poppins? Because I don't think anyone does. Um. <laughs> it's interesting because to a degree you could say yes. The UK has so many different dialects all through the country. There's areas of the country that you could say that yes there are people that sound like Dick Van Dyke well, but the... and there will definitely be people that sound like Mary Poppins. Right but the um... but the Cockney accent which he's supposed to be doing doesn't even sound that way. Well yeah but you can't understand no. the Cockney accent no one can. Yeah the Cockney accent the London Cockney accent to be very specific is one of those accents that is very difficult to replicate if you're not from the area. Mm -hmm. And he did a good job trying to replicate it, but he managed, all he managed to get to was that faux cockney mm -hmm. instead of the proper cockney. Um, like even these days, the cockney accent is actually going out of style, and there's a lot of people that don't speak with it anymore. Um, but it, it's still used in certain areas. Uh, Mary Poppins uh, accent in, in the original, that one is a lot more common and you will hear that quite a lot. Yes, actually. Julie Andrews. Okay. So yes, I have been, Julie and I have been told multiple times that Mary Poppins, like people are reminded of me when they watch Julie Andrews' Mary Poppins, so. Mm -hmm. So you, now you guys kind of know, kind of know that uh, Nabarine is a beautiful lady, because people are like, yeah, you look like Julie Andrews. Well, it's not look like Julie Andrews as much as it's uh, 
Mary Poppins, the character of Mary Poppins, I don't know what on earth you're talking about. Like, you know, even though she very clearly was doing magic, you know, mm -hmm. like the no nonsense, yeah. chin up, but this is the way, this is, this is just how it is. Deal with it. Like, well, I mean, <laughs> might not have been magic, I, you know, sufficiently advanced technology and all that. There Maybe two major sort of magic nanny stories that I'm aware of. It's that I'm Nanny McPhee, that. right? Nanny McPhee, yes. Mary Poppins and Nanny McPhee were the two major ones that I grew up with. And Mary Poppins took the approach of its magic quite literally in mm -hmm. comparison to Nanny McPhee, where it was uh, in the second film. Uh, it is explained to a degree that Nanny McPhee is a government sent agent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who can do magic? I basically surprised me a little. But uh, it is it is described as the fact that she is well known by the British government and is sent to help children of uh, victims of crisis, essentially. And that's the way she was portrayed in in the in the second movie. And admittedly, I was a little bit weirded out by that because it's not often that someone goes, "Yes, I'm a nanny, but also I'm a government spy." <laughs> um, which? Well, I mean, yes. we have that here in the United States. It's called the CPS. Yeah, well, <laughs> those people aren't nannies. So. No, they just come to take away people's children. Which is necessary sometimes, but there are a lot of times that the it's not line, necessary. The line they consider unacceptable is like, you know, because obviously you want to put children first, make sure children are safe, but it's like they jump right to, yeah, we're just going to take your kids and figure everything out later. And it causes mm. such emotional damage. And like, if you can, if you can think, if there's one way to guarantee someone's going to act like they are not uh, wow, this thing's much faster without all the steel plays in it. Act like they're not a good parent because they're like out of control or angry or frustrated. Try and take away their kids. Like, I cannot imagine a better way to guarantee that someone acts like they shouldn't have children than to try to take their children away because they're going to try to bite and scratch you and, and use anything they can to hit you to prevent you from taking their kids away because that's just natural. There are people who call, uh, like, it, it, it's so ridiculous. Uh, there are people who call CPS in the United States or, or the police or anything because these kids are running around outside without supervision. And people are like, yeah, they're in our like. Backyard. Or no, it's front yard or something. But it's like, yeah, they're like 11 to 12. Of course they're running around outside with supervision. That's how they learn how to be adults. Oh, there, was, there have been people who have called it on people letting their toddlers out in the backyard to play. Ouch. Yeah. Oof, some speed. My parents would have been in a lot of trouble. Yeah. I, I remember one time I got told, all right, you can play out front. I was going out front. And we had a rule, like, you can go from between this house and this other house on the street, you know, and that was your, like, your boundary. I went, mm -hmm. I was playing at the edge of the boundary. Nobody could find me, apparently. Then they finally found me. And they're like, where have you been? I'm like, within the boundaries like <laughs> I am allowed and I said I'd be out front still managed to get in trouble for that I don't know how <laughs> you get you get in trouble when your parents are scared like if if you scare your parents then the the fat like that's also I've tried to explain it to my kids too because there have been a there have been a few times that they've made stupid choices and got got uh, close to death. <laughs> and, um... I mean, and like the time uh, the middle boy almost fell out a window? Yeah. Um, he pushed the screen out from the second story, story window even though he knows he's not supposed to push on screens. And so that was fun. But, um, when a parent is scared, the one of the fastest ways they deal with that emotion is to just get angry which is not correct but 
it's very it's a very visceral thing. What were you thinking? What are you doing? Stay in your room, you know, like that's the it's the first thing that happens is anger. And I've explained it to my kids too. I'm like, mommy and daddy sometimes yell, not like screaming at them, you know, but we raise our voices when we are scared. And we're not we don't we're not mad at you. We're just scared. <laughs> So don't, don't don't make that choice again, and nobody has to be scared, and we can all just be happy and calm. <laughs> yeah, Enderoth, I'm not saying that the CPS is a is a bad agency. I'm just I just feel like the I don't know. It's it's probably more along the lines of people need to not call them when they when they're annoyed with a noisy kid outside. You know, or like it's, it feels like it's like yeah, government, come make my neighbors be quiet. It's not that's not how it's supposed to work. Yeah. I mean, government, I saw my neighbor punching his kid in the face. Yes, call them, please, but... Yeah. Uh, what did the kid and what did they do? <laughs> yeah, like, when I... When oh. I first got home from Afghanistan, the, my my parents, they... They didn't want me out of the house. They didn't want me going anywhere. But... I, I was... I was over... I was over 25. I'll go with that with age-wise. Mm -hmm. And but my mom, my mom had nightmares of me in the hospital when I when they first came to see me and jumped. Mm -hmm. when I first woke up. And it, it scared the crap out of them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I understand why parents get start yelling. Yeah, that's and like I said, it is not the best way to deal with that emotion, but it is very common. Just because, like, that's most people react that way when they're scared. Well, it's the fight or flight response, yeah. right? A threat has happened. There's Quick, a, and that's combat it's the fight, right? Because you can't run away in that situation. As a parent, you can't run away, so there's a fight instead. can't stop it you gotta do something mm -hmm. <laughs> first time I caught caught speeding a cop told me he was telling his mom <laughs> uh, asked for a ticket, asked for a ticket instead. instead got grounded <laughs> no not my mom not my buttons see but that's and that's one of the problems with um you know, it's so difficult because you run the risk of children being afraid to tell you stuff because they're afraid of the disappointment or the reaction. And that's even worse because if they don't tell you what's wrong, you can't actually help. Um, but how do you, you know, finding the balance between discipline and discipline does not mean hitting discipline does not mean anything but discipline just means um making motivation for positive uh behavior well it's kind of uh so it it derives from the same the same type of word as disciple which is to follow um and so discipline is not it has come to have a negative connotation because of the way that some people think you get people to listen which is not how you get people to listen it's how you get people to be sneaky <laughs> um and not tell you anything i know nothing about this so uh violence is not the way to make people actually follow you um neither is yelling so i uh, but it's hard it's a it's a fine line between discipline and giving choice like i've my children have their agency like the little boy who got out of his bed and that because of that choice nobody gets pie like you know i mean you could make pie and just not let them have any and have them watch me eat it <laughs> de wants his pie it's true. I uh, think that would be cruel. Yeah. But it also reinforces that 
the yeah, reason but, why you don't get. Yes, but my yeah, words, my my that. words to him though, my words to the boys were, if you get out of bed again, I will not make pie. So sorry, De, I'm not making pie. What's the recipe for the pie? <laughs> Have fun. You're I've made going... pie before. Uh, okay, but. Those, you just said your pie heart good to eat. Those those cherries are not cheap. <laughs> the ones you bought were they were all on the discount rack. You told me <laughs> they were on the discount rack because the cans got hurt. <laughs> they were put in the back on the discount rack like, like another, another can, can of beans. beans. Whoa! What was that? Uh, did something explode? No, but my character just flipped on its head for some reason. I'm not completely sure why. Uh, you caught whatever dancing disease crew has. <laughs> Paco's caught it before, too. Oh, no. No, that again. <laughs> I have managed to get the small welder inside the frame of the ship. I'm so pleased with myself. I'm sure absolutely nothing could possibly go wrong. So, everybody in chat's yeah, like, D. How will you get it out? DE gets to be a hero with the kids and make the pie because he can deal with it. And I'm and I'm sitting here going, okay, so let's teach the children that loopholes exist. This is great. Well, they already know that. <laughs> no, I'm not going to make the pies, well, guys, because I, I, one of the biggest things about being a parent, uh, about having, about being a, a parent with your spouse, is do not ever undercut the discipline that your spouse has put into place. Like you have to be a team. Otherwise, they'll put it, pit you against each other. Children are devious. Children are oh, yeah. people. Like, a children... Unified yeah. They will do whatever they want to get what they want. Well, I mean, Just like... Just like most people. Yeah. Children... Children are learning about the world from you as a parent. And if you, if you teach them that going behind people's back is how you get what you want... And go ahead and teach them. Oh, those are thrusters. That's why I can't. Yeah, me and my sister used to try to pull that. We'd ask, you know, my mom something or my dad. Right. And if they said, you know, the parent. And of course, you know, parents, they know. It's like, did you ask your mom? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. said, no. Okay, then why are you asking me? Yep. Because. <laughs> because so, we hoped we'd get a different answer. <laughs> yeah. So we started getting smarter. It's like, okay. Which one do you think will give us a better answer, mom or dad? <laughs> and we're, it generally was our dad because like he was a truck driver, so he worked long hours, and when he'd get home, he didn't want to. <laughs> yes, kids, go away. Go away. Yes, I will say yes to anything. <laughs> yeah. De's going. I don't know what that feels like. <sighs> Can we watch? Yes, fine, whatever. <laughs> let let daddy be asleep. Let daddy be quiet. Of course, sometimes I feel bad for my dad because in mm. as we go running out the door, my mom would be like, "Where are you guys going to play?" I didn't say you could play. Dad did, and so we'd continue at the door. And then next thing you know, we hear my mom yelling at my dad, "Why'd you let him go play?" Let's <laughs> put that thruster I vaporized back. <clears throat> It's hard if you're not home all the time to know how the house is run and know what is expected before kids go play. So that's difficult too. But luckily, DE has learned quite a bit because of this uh, quarantine. <laughs> it's like, is the playroom clean? Then you. No, he knows. It's because it used to be like, hey, daddy, can we watch something? Sure, what do you want to watch? And now it's, did you clean the playroom? No. Okay, do we watch something before it's clean? No. Okay, so why are you asking? Oh. <laughs> because you don't know, dad, but now you do, and I, my world is shattered. <laughs> yep. Eldis, did you no. practice writing your name yet? No. Okay, go practice writing your name. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Usually how he says it. Yeah. I've welded so many steel plates. I've welded so many drills. 
Now there's an entirely new section of uh, ship. Yeah, but we're we're doing pretty well, I think. We're making progress. Whoa, yep. that was lag. Apologies. Almost. Apologies. Is your box Can all done? I make this? I messed up the center pop, but that's okay because I got rid of an extra reactor. Extra reactor, okay. Yeah, I I only need nine, not ten. My goodness. We don't have enough uranium for all of these things. Well, uh, I think we've once got, like, sure about that. We've got plenty. Okay. Anytime have you seen how many reactors anything, in this ship? Yes. Have you seen how many there are? And anytime we do anything, we always run out of power. Oh no, that's not true. We ran out of you ran out of fuel, not out of power. You had plenty of power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I said, there's one reactor that's got 750 ingots. That's way more than it needs. We have Hacker. to fill all of those reactors. Why Why are we placing the heavy lasers directly on the hydrogen tanks? For a or not? I mean, yeah. like, won't they get directly targeted? Where? And now let's play another game of good idea, bad idea. <laughs> It's uh, right on steel plates. It isn't on the tanks themselves. Uh, on this side, they are on the tanks. Here? Hope the shield doesn't go down. Right, right here. here. Right here. Uh, up there. Ah, uh, I see. He's like, I didn't do that. Yeah, Nathan, that's a different... That's uh, a different thing. Nathan, um says I couldn't get away with asking a different parent parents had different households and yeah that is a different situation entirely who ordered these well, Lucian's ship is definitely a pretty ship indeed and it's also going to have these massive wheels on them because I like those <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, and this is the atmospheric cruiser, right? You got it. Um, if you need to test it, that planet over there has an atmosphere, and it is uh, yeah, it's two point five gravities, I think. What about yeah, one and a quarter? It's uh. It's just one Oh, is it one and a quarter? Okay, but yeah, it's uh, it's stronger than regular gravity. It's a modded planet, not uh, not the ice moon. Okay. Oh. I just welded up a whole bunch of the front of the ship. I was feeling good about myself, and I just saw how big the nacelle crew added was. <laughs> That's how I've been feeling for the past like <laughs> six streams. <laughs> <laughs> So, could be extremes be like three months later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does Nabali. Why do things keep exploding? Oh, I know why. Because these. Ugh, it's the thruster placement on this thing. That's why things keep exploding. Uh, okay. Just Did you pop another thruster? No, I popped uh, an unwelded steel plate block. Two of them, I think. Three of them, maybe. D doesn't like going outside, Hammer V. So even if that's how our household worked, which it's not. Um, no, she has other ways of making me hurt. <laughs> okay. Hey. I thought I was like not getting enough stone with this, but now I check we have like 14k on storage. Yay! Uh, that's because of, this I've been... super effective. Waco, I've been bringing back tons of stone. Yeah, I have also been bringing back tons of stone. <sighs> Just blew oh. up a turret. Okay. No! It was a... Nittos. It was a... It was a duel. He's laying duels everywhere, so... Does everybody just believe I'm a bad person, or 
Is this? No. I don't understand. No. I know you're a bad person. Thanks. You're welcome. You're helping. I'm here to support. Seeing the radar, the, the stone so, is getting like, consumed. So, guys, oh, guys in chat. One, one second, guys. One second, please. Guys in chat. Um, Nab and I have a great relationship, and we are, uh, to, to, to put it in oldie speak, we are equally yoked. We each have roles we play and, and spheres in which we are experts, and we yield to each other in those spheres, depending on who is uh, more knowledgeable. Like, if there's a, if there's an English question, as, as smarty pants as I can be, um, I will be like, Hey, Nab, what's this obscure rule of this dumb language we speak? And she'll tell me. And that's because she went to school for for many years to learn how to uh, how to tell people what to do with the language. And that's I mean, as a teacher, it's exactly what you're doing. I'm right. Um, and then if it's if it's a like a computer hardware question, obviously I'm the one she goes to. Like, hey, there's a thing, and it's not supposed to do this. What do I do? And I can tell her. Or if I'm frustrated, I just tell her to Google it, because it's pretty easy. Uh, or if I'm at work. But, again, it's... We work together well, and we care for each other a lot. We poke at each other, we poke fun at each other, but the stereotype of, Oh, you gotta keep the wife happy, or she makes your life miserable, is kind of, like, not okay. Uh, like, not, 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 not specifically just to us, but, like, in general. Because I feel like it... It paints women as, like, uh, these these pets you have to take care of in order to make sure they're happy so that you can get what you want. Which is not the case. The relationships are much more complicated than that. At least, I hope your relationships are more complicated than that. Um, it's it's very much a give and take, like any any friendship, you know? And so, as funny as those jokes can be sometimes, they do get old. Just letting you know. Nabarine, do you have anything to add? I don't know. I I think you did well, and I don't want to make people feel like they're validated in thinking that I'm a woman who harps on people. So. Oh, okay. So, okay, joke, joke time. So I'm not going to get whipped later? Ha 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 ha. So many things went through my mind, and, and I cannot say any. <laughs> <laughs> I that may or may not have been intentional. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. I could also say, as someone who's met you two, you're, the, you're too dynamic is exceptional. Just to, the way you support each other and communicate and deal with each other. So anybody that says otherwise can come fight. Can catch <laughs> me outside. Yeah, and you do not want to fight Jeray. I'll tell you that right now. He will hit you with his money clip and no one recovers from that. I just oh. hit him with the game. Oh, I, know. <laughs> uh, I got him with his mic open. I don't know what to say to that. And Roth, why wouldn't we make the ship out of wood? I mean, it's very sustainable. It's a sustainable material, and uh, the assembly doesn't need all this dark wood, so we're going to use it. Nobody? Nobody. No, cross game, cross game jokes are only funny if you play them. Well, Lucian and Rorthic both play. Oh, no, Rorthic's in, not in, yes. in chat tonight. Ah, oh, darn. I was looking at the wrong the, channel. So, um... Ghost Industries does not get along with the assembly particularly well, so, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, no pygmies, pygmies were harmed. Because honestly, Androth, it's just wood paint. I checked, it's made in China. So you know it's sustainably harmed. Sustainably gathered. It's even with the paint and not the uh, laminate. Junk. Don't maneuver. Oof. Okay, we're good. Oof. 
Well, the laminate was more expensive. Another chunk. It's lead wood paint, yes. That's how That's how you're a letter. Leader. Oh, Posen. that was bad. That was, that was a stretch, dear. I'm good at I stretching. Okay, so pull this out. I'm going to take these off. Because it's really hard to weld up a hull if it's covered in turrets. I'm looking at you, creator. Man, we just refined like 14k gravel, uh, 14k stone, and we still have like gravel non existent on the system. My god. Well, I'm bringing back over 200,000k of. Or yeah, 2,000k of stone right now. It's a lot of stone. We have a lot of reaction components to make. Yep. Time to make the next level. I need to expand this a little bit. Well, Chris, I think I can pull them more than yours can in a one load. Uh, no, most All definitely right. no. As I said, the storage got filled with fourteen, with approximately fourteen k tone. I know, but drills. I have three cargo containers on here can hold three thousand k of stone per trip. Yeah, you may be more efficient, but those refineries really eat a lot. So this is like a bonus. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put the mast. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can't. Never told you that. I still need to figure out where I want to put the smokestacks on this thing. <laughs> Ghost Industries folks, only the finest technology brought to you by Coal Power. Steam power, thank you very much. Mm-hmm, and what are you burn you what are you burning? Hydrogen. <laughs> Not as effective. Not as effective as coal. Coal has a higher energy density than hydrogen. Has it? Yes. Well Look, let's just oh, instead of a gas. If, you, if all you need is steam, you can use a nuclear reactor. Yes. It's true. Uh, nuclear reactors are technically steam power, at least modern ones. Well, uh, light water reactors they're, are. They're, um, what was it? It's uh, nuclear power that boils the water that yes. steam power. Right. Well, that's exact. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly how nuclear power works right now, unless it's a, a liquid metal reactor. Chunk. Don't they work on a similar principle though? They just instead of using the water, yeah, from the, they use it's it's the still water a from the. Um, I mean, I know at some point there's there are thermal couples involved, but I don't know how many and and how much of that is just like bonus power or what. Um, but yeah, missing things there. All right. We also had so much gold, we're just now starting to get to the end of refining the gold. <laughs> Wait, Sounds about right. Find all the platinum first. Yeah, one thing that's in the refineries now is uh, stone and a little bit of gold. That's good. I keep trying to move more stone, but someone else I think is accessing the inventory because it keeps not. Moving. Yeah. Hey, me too. Thank you, Black Phoenix. He says, heading to bed, Hick. You and I were a great couple. Give it up. <laughs> Try not to get any popcorn in your bed, Black Phoenix. Thanks for hanging out, man. Thank you. Donation detected. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna get rid of all these conveyor sorters. I see a lot 
Um, it's probably all the welding going on. Welding, grinding, mining. We are like doing everything you can do on Space Engineers. Yep. Oh, and Keen's released a, a hotfix since then, so I'm sure, I'm sure they fixed something. I don't know if you can hear the quotation marks in my voice. Oh no, I can hear them. Don't worry, it's quite. Uh, obvious. yeah, they were pretty obvious. Okay, gotta pull this off so I can weld all that. The exchanger steam terms in general. All right, Lancer. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they all. It all involves steam. I'm pretty much the only thing that's not uh, either internal combustion or a steam engine are solar and wind and uh, hydrogen or hydrogen uh, hydroelectric. Yep. Everything else is. Oh, and I mean everything else is heat. Heat water makes spinny thing go fast. Yeah, Androth, I'm wondering if they made some optimizations more towards the dedicated server side of things. I may do a test this week on and ask Scarlet to help me out and try to load up the world on his dedicated server and see if that works better. Uh, Lancer sneers and quotation marks are pronounced almost the same. So I understand your confusion, sir. I'm like the welder Roomba right now. I will be Ooh. leaving welding the tug by the uh, disassembly area. Okay, cool. Uh, just just lock it to the station or something so it doesn't drift away. I've done so. Just cool, cool. Thank you. That is one is blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. I wanted. Blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't call yeah, that. Yeah, I almost exactly done. Hello, Dracula. Okay, it's yeah, Dracula. thank you, old EA phone. <laughs> Son, uh, of Son of Dragon. Dragula. Dragula. <laughs> something, something. Rob Zombie. Come on, five or roughly five thousand hours of simulated flight. Don't fail me now. <laughs> I don't know if I would call this simulated flight. Better the flight simulator. Oh. Black Phoenix, it did show up. Yes, it did. We thanked you for it. Yeah, popped up. How much of that, uh? Rum, have you been sipping on Black Phoenix? <laughs> uh oh. Why is this? Oh no, that's never mind. That's on the local end. Never mind. Oh, I thought I thought the stream had chugged out for a second. I'm like, no. Nope, everything looks good. Yeah, I heard the donation detected. Play almost exclusively on Meta Dedicated, and have yet to have any issues with hangs. Also, yes, I have a Ryzen. That's part of the problem. Is there? They broke the Ryzen. Ryzen chips and it must be a complicated fix because it's been over a month now and we're still getting these hangs which is hilarious because the new Xbox is going to be Ryzen based so but they were I guess they're optimizing for a bulldozer chip from you know 2011 that's what's in the Xbox machines oh twitchy when it's empty. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
brainheart.exe. You're funny, Hammerby. You're funny. Oh, trust me, <laughs> it can be twitchy. I like my gyroscopes. I just I'm a, Someone is interacting with things. There we go. I am full up once again, and then muy muy slow. I have welded so many blocks. Don't talk to me. What the Whoa. freak was that? Uh, was it a uh, flying that banana? Was you back here <sighs> That's because you keep building stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, I, don't, I, I, I need to build. <laughs> yes, he has picture. a. <laughs> yeah, he has some desires some would find unnatural. <laughs> How do you think it's coming along at any rate, Mavery? Oh, it looks lovely. It keeps changing every time I come back to help weld it. <laughs> He's sitting there going, oh yeah, I think it's almost done. I think everything's ready to be welded. Okay, let me come help you. Oh, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's ready to be welded. At least that section that I have finished working on. I'm just gonna. That I am now gonna work on more. I'm just gonna run this ship into these blocks. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna do that. This is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right, Hawk. Good night. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, Nathan, the reason we don't use a nanobot mod is because then it would get done. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> it would get done very, very quickly. And, uh, one of the reasons I took the nanites out is because in the first season, everyone just kind of did their own thing. And that's still happening now a little bit. But not as much. But not as much. We're all helping each other. Yeah, it's it's much more community build. Rather than, hey, I'm on a stream with these people and just kind of there. Yeah. Drago? You, I feel you made... <laughs> <laughs> we told you you could build the ship before we started building the biggest ship we have ever built. Um... Drago, you made a ship shaped like a light armor block. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, oh, it won't be likely blitz. That's all I got to say. Nanobots do re remove a gameplay element. Um, if I wanted to do something fast, uh, if the building was not important to the to the game, then nanobots are fine. But I find I actually like, because this makes building require effort. So you have to plan out your builds a little bit better. And you can tell that we have some people in stream with us that are used to nanobots because of the way they're slapping blocks down everywhere and making it impossible for people to weld them up. I'm, I've actually never used the nanobot mod. Wait, you just, just used to creative mode. There's that too. Yeah. If you put a block on top of another block and block it into the block, <laughs> I can't weld the block in the middle of the block. And then Does nail that, that block sense? to yourself. Ha <laughs> ha! And when it arrives, you can smash it with a hammer! But weld your block radius. Oh, the poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. The Cusco's poison. That poison? Yes, that poison. Got you covered. Okay, I'm gonna pull these turrets off, crew. Uh, so I can weld all these blocks here. And then you may slap them down when I am done, because I believe you placed these. Yep. If I don't do it right, then you can... I'm also going to... Uh, be good. Where's the doodad? Come here, doodad! Down by the doodad, where the watermelon's doodad. Back to my doodad, I doodad doodad. Wow. What? 
I could just sing the actual song. Down by the bay where the watermelons grow, back to my home I dare not go, for if I do, Nabarine will say, your ship is out of power, please get someone to save you down by the bay. I'm drifting away, I have no power, this isn't a joke guys, please help me now, the ship is flying and drifting away into space. I'm right near crew. Goodbye, crew. Goodbye, everyone. My favorite thing about that Goodbye, was me. somebody in chat had mentioned that you probably want to power it up and you didn't do anything about it. I didn't see it. If you had seen it and didn't tell me, then whose fault is that? If you had seen it. Drago, you're holding down your push talk button. <laughs> Don't smash me. Use a landing gear. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong with you? I'm gonna spin smash now. me with green gravy. Green gravy? Uh, it's a Disney thing. Okay. Hi. Hi, Drago. Oh, eggs and ham? No, it was... That worked. So... <laughs> so, get a there was a classic Mickey Mouse cartoon where it was uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. Except it was Mickey and the Beanstalk. And the, and the giant who is... Uh, the character, his name is Willy the Giant. Um, chunk. He was, he played the muy, giant, muy big obviously. Oh my goodness. Just wait there, it's back. Ooh. Um, but that was his thing. He's, Another chunk. He's talking about um, the food that he has on his table, his feast. And he, and he's like, ooh, this, that, and the other thing. And, and pot roast, chocolate post pot roast with the smash me with the smell with just with green gravy <laughs> so that's the thing that my family <laughs> quotes doesn't have to make sense it's willie the giant he was never supposed to make any sense okay uh go fly oh. this over oh yeah that's not a lot of power okay uh okay let's take those welders and turn those off Those actually turn off. They didn't, did they? That was a lot of work for not much progress. I know how that feels. <laughs> Waka's been here before. I I have finally finished one of the two wheels that need to go on on the side of this ship. I mean, have you finished them, though? Okay, but why does it need wheels? In case he runs yeah, into space, space bumps. It's oh, it's, it's, they're not actual wheels. They're, like, decorative wheels. <laughs> not actually Batman, are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> In real life jokes. When I was 17... 16? 16, I almost 17, my family had the opportunity to take a trip to Spain. And it's the only time I've ever been to Europe. And Spain is beautiful. I recommend it, guys. Uh, but <laughs> we were at the, uh, the Cardona, which has a uh, Parador, which is a hotel made out of an old castle. And there was this woman uh, who was walking around with her with her son and they're, you know, they're talking about how they're on a holiday all this stuff and then uh, it was uh, the little boy was getting close to the edge of one of the towers and his mom of course was like you know you gotta get back away from there and he's like but mom it's okay that man could jump down blah 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 you know something like that and, and she goes well yes but you're not actually Batman because he had a Batman shirt on you're not actually Batman are you you just fall down and go splat on the ground <laughs> so funny <laughs> oh my god every once in a while <laughs> we'll just say you're not actually Batman are you yeah in our in our bad American British accents yes. yeah what Nav, what Nav just said sounded so British that's because the woman, the woman was British. Her family. Uh, oh gosh, actually, hey, Batman, are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, uh, ship. Does it have a reactor on board? No. Okay, control panel. Battery. So, but the way you said, it's not actually. I was like, it's perfect. It's exactly how they say it when they quote that lady. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm charging the batteries on this thing. Is there another one that has charge batteries? Use the one on the other side. Wait, there's a welder here that's not being used. <laughs> Look at, uh... Oh. Uh, oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I just love how the build planner just, like, completely freezes my game. It does that. Okay, I guess I'm back to the inefficient using my hand welder. This is for you, Enderoth. Bumped into two things. Good sign. We have about 45 okay, minutes Dre, left in the stream. I don't need a babysitter. You can go play. Oh, I'm just going to watch until you get it in there. Who did you? Roger that, rabbit. Um. Yeah, that one just barely doesn't fit. That's unfortunate. Can't use it on the other side because there's a cargo container in the way. Uh. Am I just not seeing it? Endroth? I'm not seeing anything. I see something from 837 by me, Jared, and I don't see anything in our Discord. Endroth. Hmm. Oh, there you go. I've seen Absalon before. I have a blueprint of your ship. I use it for target practice sometimes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. He doesn't mind. He does it too. I do like the I do like it, the asymmetry. No, I don't have that one. But it's still the same ship. Um, who built this giant, uh, drill, may I ask? That's probably Huaco. Is it Huaco's big thing? <laughs> what is the DJ drill? Welcome to DJ drill. We are currently going into operation mode. Did you yeah, just, uh, did you just keep on making it bigger? Yes. Yep. Oh my goodness. We have other things to build. He's if just... you ever want to get to the Formic... <laughs> Home world, you will help build other things. <laughs> oh, boy. Pushing them here. And we're going deep again. Yeah. Time to overwhelm all our cargo containers. Okay, so currently the ring section is disconnected and needs to be moved very slightly, but I need to build another box first. Oh. Didn't you already do this once? Yes, but with a different section of the ship. <laughs> Look, I'm used to being able to just cut and move and paste when I'm <laughs> working on this sort of thing, so, you know. Ooh, Italian anti-fighter turrets. Right, where'd you go? Yeah, I looked, but you know what, those will fit. I have lost my orientation. Oh, there it is. Okay, so... It is pretty. Ooh! What are you looking for, Dre? I find Lucian, but I see him now. Did he put a lid on the ship? <laughs> put a lid on it. <laughs> it does kind of look like that. 
So if you orient yourself this way, it does look like he's made a can and it has a lid that's going to flip down onto the top of it. <laughs> oh, it does! I have to see the screen now. Uh, that's, uh, that's just an artifact of the current, current orientation and of it. And we will now call it Can It. One, two, four, eight, eight hundred K here. That just made me think of the Rocky Horror Picture Show and just the the song Jam It. <laughs> but just going, can it, jam it. But, hmm. Not, not sure that should be said, but you know what? That's what my brain thinks now. So <laughs> we're going with it, I guess. Janet, Dr. Scott, Janet, Brad, Rocky. <laughs> I was told when I was in high school that if I ever was in that show that I should play Frankenfurter. Which I wasn't sure how to feel about at the time. I still think you'd do well. Right. I would do I would do well at it. I have the I have the well, I mean I'm a bit thicker in the middle now, but I have the frame for it and the face and the lips. <laughs> Put some what about the legs? <laughs> oh, I've got pretty nice calves, I will say. All this uh, tiptoeing around YouTube sensibilities has really built it up. Why can't I go anywhere? Is that a window? No, it's a it's a gun with an invisible hip hitbox. Anticipation. Anticipation. Family show says under <laughs> Good night, kids. This is a family show. So we're moving the ring section forward by three blocks from my current. Alright. So in the direction I'm facing? Yep. It's all disconnected already, so you should be fine. So Lucian, is it nice uh, not having to be in charge and not having to herd the cats yourself? It is lovely. <laughs> I have I have enough to do that in my company and arbitrary. Yep. Uh, today, today I had to have an hour and thirty minute meeting with the arbiters and Calzone Shipyards and Alfred. It was. Oh god. They're so angry right now. They're all so angry. Well, they're not angry. They're just miscommunicating us. I thought Alfred just wanted to destroy Kalzan. Or what are they? Like the Mad King, something or another, right? Because they merged with another company. Okay, stop. And you're right. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, Elmir, basically. Um, oh dear, the the rest of the ship is drifting away. This is oh, is that is, was, did you take it off the sprue? Energy low. Uh, it's been off the sprue for a while, since before last stream. Why? <laughs> Why would you do this? At the time. Um. Oh no! Oh yeah. stop! Oh no! It's, it's oh. drifting very slowly. Yeah, but it's it still gonna. Bumped. Nope, it's still gonna hit. Is it, it's gonna bump. I don't think it's gonna help, Nab. Uh, no, it totally is. <laughs> yeah, it was totally you. You did it. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Nabreen. Thanks. <laughs> you're you're a helper. Yeah. Um. Nab. My goodness. Oh, we're gonna do it. There is so much ship to going? weld. Are we pushing it or are they using thrusters? No. Jure is tugging it. Oh, they're using thrusters. Alright, almost there. I'm actually up and through, aren't I? Yes, I am. Pushing it. We're connected. Okay, we're good. Are you? Because now the ship's going to drift again. Now I'm going to convert it back to a ship. Uh, a ship, a station. 
You're gonna have to stop it. I wonder how many engineers would it take to move this little shape over here? Energy critical. Oh, there's the energy critical. Shipyard. It looks like it stopped, but apparently it's moving at 0 0.1 meters a second or something, right? I got all this stone gone. Oh, man. And it appears to be stopped because I can't move it in any direction. It's not. I don't think it's a station or a ship at this point. I can't help. Uh, what's what's the name of the grid? Uh, Spectre. Oh, is he going to do what I think he's going to do? No, yes. not anymore. I think he's going to do. Oh, there it is. Uh, stop. Try converting it to station now. Uh, both options aren't highlighted. Oh, you don't own enough of the ship. Ha! What? Ba, ba, ba. I on. built this whole ship. I think the welding also has something to do with it. Not just placing yep, the blocks. The owner of the block, not who placed it. <laughs> Welcome to Space Engineering. So he just owns my entire ship right now. Yes, basically. Yes. Um, I'm going to come over with my magic powers. Excuse me. I want to access that. Thank you. Uh, control A. Transfer to... There is Lucian. There you are. And share with your faction. Uh, it is a station. Oh, okay. I guess I must have managed to press convert to the station when it was flashing earlier. That's fine. As long as it works. Alright. Crisis averted. You will be charged one Arbiter buck. have those on there the kingdoms and that was every time someone has to ask an arbiter to do something we charge them for it <laughs> and, uh, we we offer our services voluntarily <laughs> well, no one said you guys were sane <laughs> you got that right I'm super tired. I think I'm going to head to bed. Okay. Okay. Thank Thanks you for, for hanging out. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. What the? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> The Borg cube is sitting up there. Interesting. You mean, you mean the bad dog Mark II? I, I this should was speak, weak speak here. My, speaking about my ship. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, I mean, anybody, you should definitely have an opinion about your ship. I need steel plate 10x to build light armor block. Hmm. D. Hmm. Once this ship is operational, I would request a copy of the blueprint for it. 
You should be able to blueprint stuff in this world. Oh, should I? Um, yes. I, I generally speaking, I don't like blueprinting things in multiplayer because I know it can lag a lot. It shouldn't lag my computer any more than it's uh, already lagging. Uh, the, any lag you experience should be local. I mean, it's space engineers, so maybe not, but it should be local. Yeah. The only thing I do ask about this world is like, don't don't blueprint stuff that's not specifically yours. And if it's uh, one of the communal ships, just be like, hey, can I blueprint this? I'll usually say yes, and you know, just don't upload it to the workshop or anything. Um, the communal ships we can all have blueprints of. I mean, we all worked on them, but for to throw them up under the under the ball and chain banner. Yep. <laughs> These ships have so much character. Ah, someone gave it a halo antenna thing on the side. I love it. Oh, it is. It's kind of starting to look like the Pillar of Autumn. Just a big chunk with lots of guns on it. Paint it or burnt orange and call it the Brick of Truth. Cannot withdraw steel plates. <gasps> no, we didn't. Yes, we did. I just realized that. We run what do we do? Oh, I'm putting them into production. I have queued up 43,000 of them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we have run out of steel plates. It's impossible. It's, it's not true! That's impossible! And not bringing that up after last week. <laughs> okay, I brought it up again in uh, Wasted Stream yesterday. Oh, our stream too, I guess. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's what was on that side. Oh. Um... As Lucian, you have a design flaw right here. Which is? Uh, the no. little corridor on, I'm assuming, on top? Where, where are you? Um, I'm frozen in time. <laughs> if I'm oh. Frozen in time, I love it. I see. You mean this upper ob observation deck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm aware of that. Don't worry. It's it's. Yeah. You can crouch through it, and once there's a grab gen in here, it should be fine. But... Yeah, I went to walk by, and I'm like, I can't walk by. Yeah, I know. I'm just like, I, I, I give up with that. I, I don't care enough to think about that. <laughs> I have m more important stuff to think about. He's got, he's got other greebles to greeble. Other greeble okay. greebles? Exactly. Greeble weebles. Weeble greebles. Weebles greeble, but they don't... Wait, no, that's not right. <sighs> Do weebles greeble? Only if you pick, choose the lesser of two weevils. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is something wrong, Dabrine? No, everything's fine. Hmm. Not sure if I believe you. Fine, you don't have to. Yes. Nobody believes me anyway. That's true. It's because you're so tricksy and false. That's right, because I'm a woman. I didn't go there. Yeah, I know. What are you tired of? Just just me in general? No, just that implication. It's not you. 
It's definitely me. It's always me. I'm the most important. Everything's it's about me. About you. It's just woman on the internet in general. Wait. There are women, women on the, the internet? internet? Like she didn't say. What's with all these random interior walls, crew? Um, they look nice. Okay. We'll just take a lot of Make random... I guess I take about the same as a steel block. Whee. Don't worry, Nab. It's almost time for you to go to sleep. It is 10.06. We have 24 minutes left in the stream. Death by bad puns slash dad joke. I am the executioner when it comes to that style of, of death. Uh, final, how's your uh, cruiser coming? It's coming along. I'm almost ready to take it off the sprue and then finish off the rest of the internal. Nice. Uh, you got ions on that thing? Move it around? Yep, for maneuvering. Okay. Making sure. Ooh. Ooh. Not many, though. <laughs> Chunk. Literally only for shipyard movement. <laughs> yeah. Wow, things are actually looking somewhat welded now. On the on the big chunk. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just don't look inside. Oh my gosh, so oh. many reactor. It is it is very big. I'm just kind of waiting for the thing to catch up with all the steel plates we need. There we go, we're, we're starting to get ahead a little bit here. There are so many random... what are these? Hydrogen engines? Why do we have hydrogen engines? Why do we have like a hundred hydrogen engines? That seems a little excessive. We don't even need them if we're not going to the planet. Like what? No, 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 not like, not, not hydrogen thrusters, literally hydrogen engines. Oh, engines. I believe someone mentioned that last stream. It was a design. Greeple. What? It was not me. I don't use hydrogen engines. I know who it was. Back of power. <laughs> if we, there's... If we get to that point, crew, we're dead. Like, backup powder is better served by batteries. Like, the same amount of batteries would be a better investment. Because this thing, this thing's going to live on hydrogen fuel, right? So, it's, yeah. Yeah, Elmir. Yeah, Enderoth, I, I understand the idea of behind backup power, but... These batteries would be better. That's why I've got like a... No. 40... 50 of them. More weldy weldy. Bunch of weld. Okay. Is it sad that when uh, Lucian started becoming regular, I was like, yes, another Brit for our collection. We don't have many. Who collected who best, though? That's a good question. True, I did collect both you and Navarino. Are you interested? My collection content created. That's true, that's two for one. We're going to have to collect a second Lucian now. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm well aware that 40,000 uh, steel plate is not going to be enough to finish this thing. This thing is so big. This is the it is easily the biggest thing I've ever made in survival, regardless of the other uh, of the amount of people working with me. Massive ship, and yes, I know some people build like giant pyramids or something, but. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking, I know not what you are of. Don't worry, guys. This will only take about ten hours. <laughs> it is coming together, Androth. Coming together just in time for you and your buggy friends to take it apart. Buggy friends. One year later. Four streams later, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, guys. But so here's the thing, like, the game is not being very supportive of PvP right now, um, and honestly, I'm I'm just frustrated with Space Engineers right now as well. Uh, I enjoy playing with this group of people and chatting with you guys, but this this isn't really working. Like, you can see how chunky it gets just here in the build stream, and when we start throwing projectiles around. It just, it just gets worse. And I don't have easy access to a dedicated server. Yes, Scarlet will let me use his anytime I want, I'm sure, but I don't like doing that. And he has other plans for his dedicated server that he owns. I don't want to pay money to be able to do live streams. So we are going to build this. And then we're gonna have our we're gonna have our battle, and that's gonna be the end of the Space Engineers survival series until, until it, it gets fixed. fixed. Um, because it just we'll probably do some one-off stuff here and there, but it's just so difficult okay. to get things to work and so difficult to have fun with these problems still going on. <laughs> and Roth, uh, it's still kind of on the channel, but so many people just didn't run uh like i think we we had three battles i published two i think yeah and then the third one was the battle was so long and boring that i never got around to editing it and then it just kind of fell off away. like a lot of pvp tournaments do you know you already asked that Endroth, back uh, when I first was like, yeah, I don't think we're going to ever get around to finishing that. And I don't know. Uh, I think I think Scarlet's design would have given you a run for the money. It would have been interesting to see you guys fight. Because at the time, also, railguns like, stopped working for like six months, and then gravity drive stopped working. That's one of the other reasons we... Stopped yeah, it, shock, shock. Space Engineers wasn't working right. I know gravity drives work again now. I think in the future, I mean, like... Yep. Those first two videos and the announcement of it were... That's buried deep within the depths of our channel. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. You know who won that? Space Engineers won that. Yeah, space Engineers. Engineers somebody, destroys all covers. Does somebody yeah. want to go and hang out with Drago for a second and help him? Oh. Uh, let's see where his big brick is. There's the brick. Okay, you want to see if your camera is right way up. Wait. <laughs> yep. It, it's right here by the lasers. Okay, okay so it's is is the armor is the armor up or are the lasers no. up? Just lasers. La okay, lasers. yeah, your camera's up there. Uh, okay. The the, the lasers okay. should be wait, sorry, what? The lasers should be which way? Bottom. Then the, you you're up. You you're good. You're good. I'm now okay. oriented. Okay. I'm now oriented properly. So if you view through it, you should see me. Cool, thank you. If you look Just at the block and on the on the icon there, it has a little camera icon. 
uh, the camera part where it says camera, that's the top. And I know this one doesn't have camera, but it's got that little weird like handhold thing instead. So okay. that's always up. Okay, I I wasn't sure because there's some mods that change that. Yeah, well, we don't have any of those, fortunately. Um, but yeah, looks Thank like you you're good to go. All right, Lucian, flying through your ring. What? Like, did you just go flying through the middle of your ship? Yes. Okay, that was that streak I saw. My <laughs> I was like, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> it's very handy, this big open space in the middle of my ship, just to fly through a cable. 100 meters a second! That was yeah, what I you hit 100 meters for this lap. What? It's running pretty smooth for me. Of course, I'm not on a laptop. Oh, I'm constantly juddering. Well, that's probably your ping, honestly. Yeah, 248. <laughs> I'm actually not doing too bad. Knock on wood. Yeah, that didn't sound wooden. <laughs> Knock on metal yeah, cigar that's... case. No, that, that's my leg. So. Oh. <laughs> well, why didn't you get a wooden one? Then you could be a pirate. <laughs> because it's a lot easier with a metal leg than a wood one. And the plus, swelling. Plus the. Uh... The interior of it can double as a gun barrel, and uh, you can be like that lady in the movie that had a gun for a leg. That'd be awesome. What? Or was it death proof? No, Is that I, what that was I, called? I, I'm thinking more. I was thinking more of like a sword. <laughs> you just pull off, pull the leg off and just start stabbing people. <laughs> How about they? Ah. Like the lady from uh, Kingsman. Yeah. Uh, ah, I forgot, yeah. That's not a bad movie. All Lester says, LOL, all I heard was flying through your ring, followed by Lucian saying, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for some Deus Ex augments. We were just talking about Deus Ex last night, uh, Wasted and I were talking about that. He really likes the game, and I, I really enjoyed the, the Human Revolution storyline. And uh, we were both talking about how we should play that again sometime. Obviously, we can't play it together because it's not multiplayer, but it's fun. Somebody's putting random silver blocks I in the ship. I think Deus Ex worked very well in the multiplayer. No, it wouldn't. It's not really geared towards that. No, it's very much a single player game, but it is a good single player game. It's gotta be more. There we go. Here's some more blocks. I'm just flying around desperately looking for light armor blocks to weld. Although, honestly, the uh, ship is probably charged again. Help with welding some of the conveyor junctions and stuff like that. Yeah. Wow, oh, that does require a lot of hand welding. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so many hydrogen tanks. So many hydrogen tanks. I love the square cube law. Yeah. Well, the square cube law doesn't really apply in space engineers because the fuel doesn't weigh anything. Yeah, but you're going to have a lot more fuel. in one go. Now for a bazillion more! <laughs> Yeehaw. This is like some of my favorites, just like flying slowly through, through space near a grid. My gosh, so many turrets. I don't know, we may have to reduce the number of turrets just to be able to fire them. I'm not talking about, uh... I'm not talking about power, I'm talking about lagging the game. Like, you remember fighting fighting the queen, right? 
Yep, I remember that. And how it like reduces sim speed to like 0.2. I think that was real guns, wasn't it? Mm, the uh, it was these weapons how are hit scan. Huge that ship was. Oh. Hit, hit scan ship hit scan weapons do uh, take a bit of doing. Then some in before somebody goes, but weapon core de. Doesn't work right yet. Mm -hmm. Anytime I really allow for single crew to like uh, to control a single turret. Yeah. Weapon Core apparently works well enough for Wasted to do a stream of it every Sunday. But it's still very much a technical bug finding mission. I mean, it does do some amazing things, and when it's working, it's so much it's so much more capable than the the vanilla weapons framework. I just can't stand the interface. And I can't stand them. It's just so clunky. That's so cool, the fact that that ship fits inside this ship. <laughs> Wouldn't call what I see on Wasted Stream working. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I had asked, I was like, is there a way to make it to where it just works? It works kind of like the vanilla weapons, but it just is better. And they're like, yeah, yeah, not really, because, I mean, it's not really what it's designed for. I'm like, sure, but... Like, I don't mind the vanilla weapon mechanics that much, and if it's just those mechanics, but better performance, I'll take that in a heartbeat. They proceeded to tell me that, oh yeah, just don't change any of the settings, it'll work like vanilla, which is blatantly not true, because I've never... They don't fire. The weapons just don't fire if you don't mess with the settings. Uh, and authors, because there, it's it's like an entirely new base code for how the weapons work and interact with other blocks in the game. It, it's it's not compatible with how the vanilla weapons work. And weapon core isn't keen. Hold the phone. Weapon core is dark star and uh, what uh, pifflet pilfit. And a couple other people. Philpit is actually uh, a member of my uh, Atlas company. Yes, I know. I see him uh, in your Discord. Just blinking. Neon Zoom. space bar have some interesting times. Spacebar is an individual. The spacebar is an individual, and he and Pilfer are bickering consistently, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Modest disputes, if you will. Uh, well, I mean, they gotta keep from being bored somehow, right? Uh, 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 uh. Ah. Yeah, it's one of the biggest problems with mod is because it just doesn't fit well with, like, the space engineer's aesthetic. All weapons must be in a group. The same group is advisable. Then you name a group. What's the point of having weapons groups then? Like, they even give you an option to switch weapons groups. I don't want to fire my anti-missile turrets at the same time I fire my my torpedo launchers and my battleship cannons. Like, but you can set it, set it so they don't. But it has to be a different group. No, no, no. They're saying advisable is to have it all in the same group to make sure it works. Because the problem I, I was having wow. is just none of the groups were being picked up. So I got it to work once, and I got this really cool shot of Sorcerer. This is when I was doing experiments. I hadn't, I wasn't actually really filming, but I was, I was recording some test footage, 
I got this really cool shot of all sorcerer's turrets sweeping the sky like it was firing after a single tire target, except that all the turrets on the other side of the ship were just firing blindly into space and it looked really bad. Like, nothing w looks worse on screen than turrets that are obviously just turned on and just spraying bullets into nowhere for, for the sake of, yeah, they're firing, right? Um, I've always used uh, either really tight shots or thrown a decoy, or had people in the turrets fly, like, manually controlling and shooting arcs like they're trying to intercept stuff. Because otherwise it, it just looks really bad. You can tell that it's like, oh, this guy just turned the... turned it on, and let things fire. And I mean, you know, sometimes oh, that's... That's an action. Yeah. I mean, sometimes that's all you can do. Like, if you don't have a big enough... A community to have a consistent bunch of people to record with you um, or if you don't have the time cons you, you have a serious time constraint and aren't able to get that all squared away I get it but it's just so much better to have that have the like independent movement of the turrets or slave together like they're all firing at a single target children it is time to wrap up your activities yes it is 11 oh. sorry it is 10 26 all right i'm finally getting to add the nose to this thing finally well, it's a functional ship right now right yes cool. I just... go ahead Diego. no no you're good i was just gonna ask why are you giving your ship a nose job did you guys see how close that was? Look how close that was. That was so close. The reason why I'm giving it a nose job, as it were, is to cover up the triple laser. The fixed lasers. And I just, oh, yeah. I just like... I just like Warhammer 40k, so... Oh, oh you mean the... Big iron looking ships that look like they're ready to flatten someone's clothing. I've never liked yes. those. Like, they just. Ugh. Like. Flying Cathedral? Flying. Italy, I mostly do the space. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. You mostly do the what? Space Marine ones that aren't quite as. you know, cathedric. I'm the worst! <laughs> And it depends on the, uh, chapter. Ow. Oh, I should turn those welders off. <laughs> but yes, I do enjoy a good chance being able to ram my enemies. <laughs> so, um, you know my dancing thing that I do all the time? As I do this, if yeah, I PhD. move slightly, my hands just kind of wobble, and it makes me happy. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I am coming aboard the Nikadudu. Everybody should be there on your is. way to the Nikadudu, because we are hopping in, getting ready to go to the beds. We are reporting to the bedrooms. I'm not ready for bed. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and what was it? And other variations thereof. Okay, here we go. And there goes having a seizure in the corner. Okay, guys. Well, here we are again. Another, uh, another successful, <laughs> another successful stream, and. Uh, dance party glad you were able to join us guys always lots of fun um had fun streaming always do despite space engineer's shortcomings right now uh i do i do enjoy just hanging out and chatting so i'm just gonna change it to just chatting i'll just put a picture up and we'll just talk guys <laughs> um I'll, I'll do my makeup i watch this podcast though <laughs> uh yeah, anyway, guys, I will catch you all. We will catch you all again yeah. next week. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.